previously on Agaracore. I am the leech, Haeus. There is a library in Arn. I want the great books. All the great mages of the time of chaos and the time of heroes. Yes, sir. I have not been inside the Red Hall, but my contacts have given me this map, and I have brought you a script, Draconic for Library, which may help you in your quest. You have seven hours to get what you need, after which time the pipe will be sealed. Shall we interrogate the sleeping lizard? Absolutely. What's he saying? What's he saying? We have to go to the Grey Lizard offices. They have maps for everything. Agaracore Podcast. An original roleplay using Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. Player characters and Dungeon Master interact online using Roll20 and Skype. Dungeon Master and Podcast Editor John Paget. Player characters played by Dan, Ben, Finn, Terry, Ralph, and Rob. Hector had an incident with a bespectacled grey lizard, killed him, this raised the alarm, you have just managed to deal with a group of lizard men, and that's where we leave you. So you're outside, you don't think any further alarm has been raised, you've managed to kill off this group of lizard men, so you're at this second opening or bubble, what do you want to do? Right, uh, have we searched all of these bodies yet? I, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember either. <laughs> well, <laughs> would, would someone mind searching them again, anyway? You can do investigation checks if you like. Oh, then you can do it. Um, if any means of healing, I could use as good uh, Oryx, by the way, I think. I can heal you guys, yes. Are we all a bit beaten up, are we? I am, and so is Oryx. It was quite a fight. It was, wasn't it? I'm still over half health. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Icky and Pebble aren't, though. Well, everyone, stand in front of me, and I'll give you my warmth. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm either way. Well. Yeah. <laughs> my healing warmth. <laughs> that as good as it sounds. Yes, delightful. Yeah, 1d8 plus 7. There you go. Sorry, we should yeah. roll it ourselves, should we? That's a good idea. Yes, please. On my latest level up, I got the ability to cast some temporary hit points on myself at will, which is making life much easier. Oh, wow. If I roll for everyone, I might get one really crap roll, but at least this way you get your own individual rolls and they might be really good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've got no one to blame if we do it either, have we? Yes. I don't get the blame then. No, it was better. I blame you for not taking responsibility for your healing. <laughs> <laughs> I've pretty much forsaken Pelor now. <laughs> it's useless. Are you going to find a new god? No, I'm just going to become a drunk and fight people. Shall, shall we go back inside? I think so. Yeah. Yes, was let's this, explore. Was this the right pod? Yeah, so the middle one of the three is the one you just came out of, which you'll be familiar with, Hector. So on the one hand, we haven't been in the other, so no one knows that we're there. On the other, <laughs> we killed a lot of people in there, so I, I mean, there may be more people coming, or we may have killed them all. So it swings around about really. <laughs> Shall I sneak in again? That worked well last time. <laughs> uh, sure. Why doesn't somebody come with you so that they can sneak back and get help if need be? Well, the more sneakers there are, the more chance there is well, of someone yes, falling over. But, you know, if the one sneak happens to be, like, fallible, we'll get something wrong. It may have happened in the past. Well, it just so happens it's me, so you don't need to worry about it. <laughs> Finn has an amazingly dexterous uh, weasel. <laughs> dead, actually. actually, I have a million. I have infinite <laughs> dexterous weasels. Mm. Where do you keep them all? <laughs> you have a farm? In my pants. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Finn. We're hanging out with the wrong crowd. This is affecting you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, Mo, you're quite sneaky. Why don't you go down? Yeah, I'm very why, have I, why have I been relieved of my sneaking duties? You haven't been relieved, you're being uh, supported. 
I'm not sneaking down with him. He can go alone if he's going. <laughs> <laughs> it's not racial. Really? Really? Don't get all dark on us. <laughs> Sorry, John, on these lizard guys that we just killed, mm. do any of them have like a long sword or something? Because I'm just using um, Icky's staff at the moment, and it's quite pathetic. Let's have a look. So ignore these attacks, but this is one way of finding out. <laughs> Come on, Hector, it'll be fun. All right, then. <laughs> Would it be as much fun as the time we threw someone over a cliff? <laughs> Maybe. All right, then. <laughs> they have heavy yeah. clubs and javelins. Uh, I'll take a heavy club, I suppose, then. You okay. Yeah, is that 1d6, is it, or 1d8? Um, it's 1d6 damage, plus whatever okay. you have. It's a bit more butch than a staff. It is. It's very, very old, very classic. You're embracing your drunken um, <laughs> oak roll, then. Yeah, I'm, I'm gradually turning into uh, the hound. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm hating life, hating everyone, hating my god. So we'll just want to kill and fight uh, and drink. I'm, I'm liking you more and more. <laughs> but he's not good at sneaking. Hmm. <laughs> So is this what you do then? Are you having a sneak party? Yes. All right, let's do that. All right then. Those who are sneaking, sneak. Okay. Nomo, you've still got your injuries. You're hobbling down the stairs somewhat. It's not exactly subtle, but you guys between you don't see or hear anything untoward. You get to that room again then. So this is a room you saw before. There's a very large, long desk. There's a ladder behind it. There are lots and lots of bottles. And you know there to be a corpse behind that desk. I searched the corpse. That's the problem. I could like coming back after many weeks. Yeah. I'm not sure if you searched it or not already. So <laughs> carry on. <laughs> I, I should think we didn't, DM, because we ran out in a great hurry. Yeah, we were in trouble. That's true. Okay, then. Yep. I guess an investigation check for you. That's not a lot. There were some papers, but they've been stained in blood and quickly crumbling. There's something there which... Looks like something in lizard scribble, which you can't read. There's a set of keys there. That's all. That chemical book must be there. You can't see any books. I mean, there are some drawers in the desk, but otherwise it's all bottles. Right, there doesn't seem to be anyone else here. If, if you want to, you can get the others and they can have a look around too. I wouldn't bother myself though. I'll do that. While Hector was looking at the corpse and desk, I was looking at the bottles. Okay. Yeah, give me... Sorry. Oh. <laughs> that's just not an investigation. This is something else. Okay. But we'll use that to give you a plus one. So nice. you give me two 1d10s. Seven and a five. Seven and a five. All right. Okay, one you find which you think looks quite interesting. The writing is not in your language, but it's earthy. It has some sort of plants growing in it. Even with the cork on it, there's a, quite a strong smell being given off this thing. Let me have a look at that. Yeah, I'll ask Hector. Hey, can you read this? I think... Does that say Zanaga? <laughs> it's Zanaga maybe... 83. <laughs> yeah, if he can steal it, he okay, can read thanks. it. Thanks, thanks. Give it back. <laughs> <laughs> Something about Ford. What Ford. But there's two of those, and there's only one man united. Oh, ah. Yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Zaniga. Ah. Oh, be quiet. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, I think, yes, this is good. I like it. You can have it if you want it, so. <laughs> the dimensional walls are thin here. <laughs> you can choose to believe me if you want to. The other bottle which you found, which you thought may be relevant, there's a lot of writing on it, about three lines of writing it's light blue it's quite transparent in a bottle which is almost it's got very thick glass to it you think that could be relevant are they smallish bottles large bottles well, that's a large bottle but it has thick glass don't forget the first one the earthy weedy one was long and thin okay. we could ask the mage if he knows anything about them i suppose or sure yeah. Good idea. Drink them. Okay, so should I run up and get them then? Yes. Okay, well, I'll run up and get them. Say, coast is clear. 
All right, Johnny, good. There's some nice alcoholic drinks for you down here. Is there any uh, you get, or should we just go to the next one? Was there not a passage in this one, or am I thinking of a different one? There is a passage. You know, especially Hector knows that that's where the lizards came from. Oh. Yeah, we haven't checked the passage out yet. I think the weasel went down there, didn't he? Don't Did remember. he? <laughs> no, no, the weasel died. The weasel saved you and then disappeared. Again? Yes. <laughs> So yes, definitely no weasel. So what, do you make have any of these bottles? Would you like, does your arcane knowledge give you any insight or would you like to drink any of them to test them that way? <laughs> Good spot. Or go check the bottles. Or, or um, use your arcana. I'll use my arcana and see if I can see anything, possibly something. Um, arcana you can use on potions. Yeah, or you can use arcana for the room itself if that's what you're trying to do. I'll do it in the room. Okay. No, the, the fumes from the bottles that Hector's holding in front of your face are really, really not um, helping. And yeah, one of them's quite strong, actually. Can I check the bottles then? Yeah, yeah, roll an arcana for the bottles. <laughs> Man. Damn, Terry, you're quick. <laughs> he is. <laughs> and bad at rolling, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> More haste, less speed. You're not sure there's anything particularly magical about it. Perhaps more alcoholic or something else stronger. Alcoholic? Let me have a taste. <laughs> yeah? I'll hand it well, over. I'll say, if this is your speed, you can have it. I'll give it to uh, Lice. Go on, then. Yeah, roll a constitution and save that. This, one. this is for the, the long, skinny, earthy one. That's what is I think. Is that figured. how you describe yourself, Terry, is it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, oh, lovely job. Look at 18. Get in. All right. It's very, very strong. Quite pungent. You kind of like it. It's a blue, bitter taste, but that's not entirely against what you feel like anyway. Very good. <laughs> and I'll swear something and, and add Pello's name after it. Wow. Can you roll it a d20, Rob? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just a plain d20, please. Yeah, I know, I know where you're going, don't worry. Oh. Okay. Three. You get smite. <laughs> <laughs> Did you imagine that rumble then? Did the ground shake a little bit? It may have been a trick of the mind. Oh, drink some more of this lovely potion. <laughs> okay, no problem. I won't get you to roll again. So you drink some more of this stuff. Yes, good. I'm on like asterisks now. No, no, you have more the expression of someone who's been sucking lemons, but likes the bitterness of it. I'm just like Jensen. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what do you guys do? You're in this hallway. Is that nice then? Yeah, it's very good. Well, I don't think it's your vintage, but yeah, it did the job. It doesn't smell like my vintage. <laughs> Can we get going? Yeah, go on. Yes. Stealth party, go on ahead. <laughs> All right, then. All right. I'll send my lucky back to get you if things are safe. <laughs> hey, lucky bitch. Are, are you talking about me? <laughs> I think so. I, I shake my head in a condescending way. <laughs> and then he disappears. <laughs> <laughs> I say to the other group, he was talking about me, wasn't he? But then, then I'm following him. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. Okay. It's like shadows. Yeah. So you stealth slip into the next room. It's a room full of desks and scrolls. And there's a large printing press in the middle of the room. There are various pictures and writings. Some things are framed and hung on the walls. Do you recognize some things to be in common? There are two doors leading out of this room. Are there any maps in the room? You can certainly have a search. Give me a perception. It doesn't sound like the Red Hall exactly, but it sounds a lot closer, doesn't it? Mm. What you find there is you find some wanted posters, and there's a number of tieflings mentioned on this wanted poster. This is certainly, this is meant for larger press. Are you any good at drawing? Why don't we just use press and make a poster? I mean, I'm not, I'm not as smart as you are, but... Let's, let's not bother but too much about it. Um, we could get the others, though. They seem safe enough. Okay. I'll go get the others. But I'm not your lackey. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, 
I guess we come through. Yeah, no stealth required. You you come on through to this room. It's empty. You can see the same thing that they saw. There are these desks. The papers on the desks themselves are quite neat, but there's plenty. But around the printing press, there seems to be a central table where things are being looked over and you have a number of posters. Any books here? Do a perception. But yeah, you can see a couple of books actually um, on one of the shelves in the open. Otherwise, you can you can either look uh, at those or you can look deeper. Oh, 13. Got that. 23. Mm. I'll start breaking some chairs and things. Yeah. And desks. Trying out my new club. I see. So, yes, Pebble, you find on top of one of the shelves, uh, one of the high shelves, you find a book. It appears to be someone's notebook. And while the it predominantly is in lizard a few pages flicking through you notice that one or two of the words are interpreted you are assuming so that they can create posters in common so you have some words coming out uh, you know okay. um, wanted right. and other words which are translated from lizard to common perfect good it's it can be our rosetta stone I'll, I'll keep the book okay and commit a few keywords to memory while everyone else is doing you know, whatever it is they want to do sure Okay, so any of us roguish types in our party, can they find any secret compartments or anything? I look for secret compartments. I, I try and draw a picture of that um, <laughs> lizard that I want to kill and feed it into the printing machine. The one known as Commander Nimitz. That's the one, yeah. <laughs> okay, you commit him to memory and try and work the machine. What were you searching for, Pevel? The secret compartments as per Lias's instructions. Right. I, I, I've already done, done one search. So. Yeah, I just, I, just, I just smashed the desk up and nothing fell out of it. So, <laughs> Quite a lot of noises coming from Lice at this point. And then he then bellows in louder than you probably meant to. Uh, search, search, all oh, these. And then you get straight on it, Pebble, to try and appease him, perhaps. But you've. Um, yeah. Pebble's yeah. Like appeasing on me. <laughs> in the far desk near one of the exits or entrances, you find a locked drawer. Dun, dun, dun. Let me try the non-destructive way. <laughs> Bringing up a, um, a what do you call it to check. It's essentially sleight of hand, basically, as long as you can yeah. use your skills. Precisely. Whoop. Are there any pictures for Oryx to punch? Just punch. frames. There are posters, not pictures. I'll take down all the posters. Okay, okay. Um, that's Not like fine. punching them, just taking them off the wall, gently. Okay. Lice is still... Are you still in full swing, Lice? Once the desk is smashed up, I feel quite sort of satisfied, I think. Okay. Okay, I, I failed, I assume, to open the lock. You did, nine. yes. You, you, you uh, tried to do it by your normal means, and it not quite familiar with this type. Hector, what? Can you open this lock? I shake my head condescendingly and um, say, no. Oh, oh, you can't open this lock. Oh, you push there. Let me have a go. There we go. I lit it. You hit the drawer. The um, I guess roll damage to that drawer. Plus three to it. Five. Okay, you've dented the drawer. Wow, really? Um, I'll try to use my sleight of hand on it. Oh, oh sorry, mate. <laughs> it's just got, yeah, got it. still, I'm not sure the lock still works. I, so. Do you have tools to use to try and get into that lock or So you're not borrowing mine. <laughs> Why not? Because they're mine and no one borrows my lockpicks. <laughs> In this group we share. <laughs> Does anybody else have any lockpicks that they will kindly share with me? <laughs> yes, yes, I do. You can have mine. <laughs> Thank you, Pebble. Do you even know how to use those? Do you think you're just going to get in there and be lucky when, the, when two experienced thieves have failed, do you? I find that fairly patronising. Can I do the sleight of hand check? Yeah, you can. Thank you. If they get broken, you're not going to be able to borrow mine, Pavel. Just so you know. Oh, shut it. It's a good roll. Where others have failed before him, Oryx takes... Pebbles locks and <laughs> und <laughs> yes, and undoes the drawer. It took a moment because of the the condition the drawer was in after it being smashed, but yes, it opens up for you. And it's clear that that club blow opened the lock and you didn't do anything. Why didn't you check it afterwards, Pebble? <laughs> <laughs> that's, 
that's a character. Whatever's in there, I, I'm not sharing with <laughs> Hector. Oh my goodness. That'd be mixed. So inside, it's up to you whether you share it or not. There's a potion, which is a small potion. You believe from the markings on it that it's a healing potion. Uh, also, there appears to be some kind of instruction. There's a scroll in there as well, which is rolled up. Let me see that scroll. <laughs> Were you peering over his shoulder? Oh, what's this? It's, it's what? <laughs> it's another what ford? That means there's three of them? Oh, this makes me very happy. I like these scrolls. <laughs> but you've had your cornflakes this morning, haven't you? Yeah, there was, there was no... no, no. <laughs> what? My cornflakes are... No. Do you want any more of that drink? No, I'm good for now, folks, mate. All right. <laughs> He's drunk half of it so far. <sighs> Is there anywhere else we can explore here? Hold on, uh, let's look at this scroll. <laughs> yeah, what was the you scroll? Okay. Oh, yeah, you open this scroll up. Inside, again, lizard scroll, but there's a sketch in the middle. There appears to be some sort of apparatus based around something which has been carefully coloured in red. So some sort of object in red is uh, being held by some apparatus, and you imagine that the writing around it is all about this object. At a glance, John, do any of the, my translated words in my Rosetta Stone book <laughs> wow. Okay, yes, you can try that. Give me an intelligence check. Straight up intelligence. Not my favourite check. No. It's not Terry's either. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, no man's. Fix. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Well done, Dan. Um, <laughs> the fumes Sorry. from uh, the open bottle that is being carried by Rob's character. It, temporarily, you've gone blank <laughs> and you look around the room to get your bearings again. It's impossible. I think it's written in Latin. <laughs> <laughs> does Icky speak lizard? I don't think he does. She? Yes. But Even I mean, she. birds and lizards are very similar, aren't they? <laughs> you think I'm lizards are similar to dragons? Oh. That's a very animalist thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, there's nothing here then. This well, dome is done, is it? No, there are two doors coming out of this room. Are they both closed? They're passageways. Okay. When um, Lice was smashing things, you could hear the echo of the sound going down them. Oh, which was nice. Yes. <laughs> so which one? So if you, if you imagine oh, there's one on the far side from where you are, there's a door there, a, a passageway there, and there's a passageway on the south wall as well. All right. So um, we just split up, one go one way, one go the other way. That's probably not a good idea. Oh. Because <laughs> right. then we have two battles happening at once, maybe. Haven't we done that? Two battles? I, I agree with Nomo. Yeah, well, but the one across the room. Uh, yes, let's go there. As Hector is engaged, should I go in the sneak party with... I'm, I'm not engaged. I'm, I'm just having a moment. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> well, Hector, it's your moment again, then. <laughs> yes, so I all right, that's all right. Okay, so come along, Lucky. I'm gonna push along first. Oh, he got it to it first. I'll, I'll be like, shh. <laughs> oh my! You pushed me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is what happens when you come with me. Oh. The one suit of armor along that hallway, and you went straight into that suit of armor. <laughs> Stop pushing me into suits of armor. <laughs> Go back, Lucky. <laughs> Point. I think you're gonna need me. You're going to need me. Did he make enough noise that it would be no different than me shouting back to the party? I don't think it really matters now. Right now, your party can hear everything you're saying. Okay. <laughs> like, oh, come on. Just shouting at him. <laughs> can I go on ahead this time without your bewildering incompetence following me around? <laughs> yeah, you go first. Okay. Laurel and Hardy on point. It is, it is. The other four characters, <laughs> make perception checks, please. Oh, I, I noticed nothing. True. You're okay. laughing in your yeah. sardonic way about what, what they're up to. Yeah. I, I'm just anticipating what's to come and I'm smiling. <laughs> <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> does Icky roll anything? Does, does Icky hear anything? Icky could roll. There you go. She goes, Bah! 
in words similar to gives a squawk and says, "Quick to me, the Who's other doing? entrance, the other entrance." Oh, okay, let's go. Okay, so Iki is placing herself there. Did we hear her say this as well? I'm presuming that you guys are going on. I'll tell you what, if you could both give a perception, then you can come back. Yeah, no more, you're aware of it. Hector's still um, determined to continue, unless you want to tell him something. He's having a rant. I'm still telling you off and telling you to go back in that direction in, a, in an angry way. And I'm, like I'm going. You, you can stay if you want, but I'm going. Good, good. Now, let me go on ahead quietly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll come to you in a second then, Hector. So, position yourself. Imagine that this is the room you're in. I'll be there, back there. Both. So, you're all there. Moments later, you can hear up this way. There's definitely some grey lizards making their way up. Shoot one. I'm you... going to whisper, get out of the doorway. Can I back up and shoot one? Yeah. Do they see us yet? Well, that would be the one surprise move. So, if you want to do that. Okay. I'll attack and then move back. Okay. 21. That will definitely hit. 13. Elias, <laughs> it would be useful if you can step back uh, one square. There's only two of them and there's like what, five of us. So we can all engage with them simultaneously if you do that. Yes. You say that as one of these lizards just drops where he stands. <laughs> um, correct that. There's just one of them. <laughs> And I'll, I'll the charge the other one. Well, roll initiative. Who knows what that lizard might do? Who knows? No. Okay. So at the moment, he's going first. Okay. Let's get some music on. Your companion is staying back at the moment in the, in the other doorway. Don't forget, you've got this character called Kira on the tiefling. Who is just... He's quietly following you around at the moment, just um, looking around with, uh, with wide eyes, happy to have a moment of freedom. Okay. That's right, yeah, you rescued him, didn't you? Yeah, that's right. Him. Yeah. <laughs> poor, poor, poor Kiro. And he's also quiet, of course, because of the death of Kara, his partner. So, first up then. The lizard folk, as a bonus action, takes out the bell, rings this bell. Oh, shit. Then looks at Lice straight in the face and rolls. Well, rolls around on the floor. Does some sort of attack on you. I'll need you to roll a constitution <laughs> save know. with disadvantage because of your drinking. <laughs> Don't mess with John today. He's on the ball. <laughs> 18 and 17. There oh, you go. Yes. Nailed it. Kiss my face. <laughs> Work. Okay, you feel this momentary pain and you take two points uh, of damage but you shrug off and it doesn't affect you anymore. The rest of its turn then the lizard runs backwards. So it was a good thing that they took that drink. Pretty well actually, yeah. Okay, so that's its turn. Pebble, you're next. The lizards just ran down the corridor after ringing this bell. I'm going to shout, we should keep him alive! <laughs> and then you lose sight of it as it goes around a corner. Was the bell he rang? Was it on his person? It was. Well, not much for it, really, is there? Uh, I will follow him. I get a dash. Should I use the dash? I'm going to just corner him. Okay, you enter this room. Many tablets, parchments, piles, eight desks, two lizards. One is around the corner. You know where that one is. You do spy another lizard across the room. There are no exits from this room. This is it here. a sexy librarian lizard? Oh, well, that's, that's all in your perception, I think. Maybe, maybe. What do you do? I will use my last moments to shout, There's another one! <laughs> <laughs> I guess with the bells and everything, I'd have heard time. enough to join in at some point. Yes, basically the next round, you'll join in. So Icky will, I think, fly into combat, I would think. Fly yeah. down the hallway? Yeah. Icky will hop, presumably one-legged, uh, down the corridor, and that'll be her entire turn. Well, uh, Icky will go down to this one. Very good. Oryx? I can go 30 feet, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll move right there and use my firebolt cantrip on this one. 
Okay. Yes. When that burned books. That's a good point. He did it, so he says it. You know what I mean? He says it, he did it. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. There you go. <laughs> a 17 will hit, damage of 10. Great. Good roll. Okay, yep, takes the damage. The chair it's sitting on is thrown back. No more. I don't think I can shoot at anything yet, so I'll just go that far. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> yeah, you could have tried, but yeah, very difficult shot. Okay, yes, yeah, so do your roll. Roll movement. Uh, so I'm going to run down the hallway and hit the guy to the right of the door, or to the left of the door as we look at it. Yeah, if you're there, that yeah, you can just reach. And go, Aah! and then hit him. <laughs> With what? With my club. Yes, your new club. Because I lost everything when I fell in the lava. He was very bitter about that. Yeah. Oh, and I, I missed. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got plus three. Yeah, that'll so be enough. 12. Yeah, really? 12, 12's enough to hit that one. Sick. Grey lizards cool. are thin and fragile. All right. Oh, crap. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's four damage. <laughs> okay. Takes four damage. It is better than nothing. It is better than nothing. It's their turn. Okay, it's going to try and do another attack on you, Lice. So again, it reaches for its head. Roll another constitution save. Uh, minus or uh, disadvantage or...? Yes. That's one. Oh, so I guess you'll take the six. I will indeed take the six. But the bizarre virtue of drinking that drink is that it will only be half this damage because you are, ah. you've are you been numbed. Okay, so... Three. It feels like a streak of lightning just goes through your brain and takes three damage. Ah, bullets! Sorry. Next, this little folk here has Icky to deal with, and it'll reach for whatever object it has. Oh, I don't think it would have any object next to it. it this is a bureaucratic oh. lizard. So <laughs> it's going to just reach for whatever it can. I think maybe a, a quill. <laughs> <laughs> Pen is mightier than a sword. It might be. <laughs> okay, it's going to jab Icky. I think Icky's armor is 16 or less, so it will do some sort of damage. But it may just 15, be yeah. automatic one, I think, plus its um, damage. So yeah, it'll just automatically do three damage to Icky with this quill as it stabs its arm. Just ruffled her feathers, that's it. Precisely. Okay, up next, Pebble. It's unarmed damage. A thing in version 5. Unarmed damage. Like an unarmed strike. No, I, I mean um, non-lethal damage. That's, that's what I mean. Yeah, you can. Basically, you can decide whether you oh, great. want to inflict. I'm doing unlethal damage. Oh, I think this is probably a sneak attack. Yeah. Here we go. Thanks to Lysa's position. 17 damage. Yeah. 17. It's nice to see you in the thick of it, Pebble. <laughs> 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 you say to Pebble as, as Pe Ma, Pebble does the job down goes the lizard unconscious well, I look at my weapon in my hand horrified <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile Lice I guess that, that lizard across the desk there can I throw my club at it you can uh, make it a good one it's got partial <laughs> cover because of Vicky I know yeah I think disadvantage because of Vicky Thanks. Oh, Yay! <laughs> okay, um, let's roll damage. Um, so you rolled a club, which is an improvised weapon, I would think, because it's not really a Don't ranged this weapon. This is going to be a six. Oh, three. <laughs> but it's six damage, though. Okay, six damage to Icky. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's Icky's turn. I think Icky should use this righteous anger. Yeah, yeah, uh, he, he's furious, and this is what happens. Yeah. Yes! Ah. Six damage. I think Icky has a, some sort of flurry of blows option. I have yeah. It's a regular shit. bonus attack that doesn't even have to use his flurry of blows. Oh, he gets a second attack. So yes. Here I go again, attack two. Yeah, she's like a feathery Jackie Chan. <laughs> yes. There you are. Oh, fantastic, okay, yeah. Another four damage. That's 20 damage taken. This lizard is reeling, still standing, at but wider eyes than normal. Alive. Still alive. Okay. Um, so. If she may, uh, if you were end a turn, 
by saying it in a birdie way, keep this one alive, maybe we can talk to them. She says, turning its beak towards the rest of you. Precisely. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay, Hector, you may have just heard that. It's your turn. When I hear the bell and everything, I shake my head condescendingly, then draw my sword and shaking my head, run to, into the room. And what do I see? <laughs> okay, well, you have to run into this room first. And you can see Kieron uh, nervously pointing towards the corridor. So you can go the way that Kieron says. And you probably get halfway down this corridor here, just past where Nomo is. Okay. And you'll be halfway down that corridor. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to do? As I pass Nama, I want to shake my head at him. Right. <laughs> this yep. is your fault. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nama, it's your turn. All right. I'll say, out of my way. And I'll please pass to him between these people, or am I stuck here? No, yeah, you, no you can go past. All right. Did I have my turn yet? No, you're actually. No, sorry. First. Yeah, so keep that in mind. Enjoy your out of my way moment, but first, Oryx. Okay. Don't kill it. You heard Dickie say don't kill it. I'll just move right here out of the way. Okay. We're lacking exciting music, John. We Sorry, are, mate. but you're doing so well. It just feels like I'm, I'd be adding suspense for no reason. Okay, here we go. <laughs> well, I'll, add, I'll add a storm, maybe from Pellel. Pellel's storm, we'll call it. Awesome. I think that's as close as I can get. Okay. I'll, I'll brandish my spear at him. Like okay. Hold it towards him and try to get him to uh, surrender. Motion that he should put his claws up. Okay. okay. I'll do a wisdom save. The lizard's oh. turn. Ah. Terrified, <laughs> terrified. You can see a, a little bit of spray as uh, the lizard puts its hands up. <laughs> okay, so there you go. You got one over there, unconscious, lying on the ground. This one is, I've got it hands up. You're in this room. I pick up my club again and say, sorry, Yuki. I will go to the one that's conscious and say slowly and loudly in the naive hope that that'll make it clearer. We're looking for books. Books <laughs> like these. Lots of books. <laughs> <laughs> and a map. Are we looking for a map too? Are we looking for a map? I don't know. We, we would just need the map to find the books. So if you can just tell us where the books are, that would be way easier. <laughs> I'll elaborate with Red Hall. Red, and I'll find something colored red. Hall! <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... Make a sort of triangle above my head with my hand or something. Wasn't there some sort of symbol we were supposed to be able to draw? Can you remember it? Oh. Uh... <laughs> it, looks, it looks like an envelope with an H. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hang on, let's all try and draw it. Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah a... do it. Like envelope doing the teapot. Please do. I think Pebble is right. See if you can draw it. I can't remember it at all. There we go. That's what it looks like. Isn't there one more? Is that three of them? Or... <laughs> you got to do it soon. Well remembered. Oryx, That's take it. an inspiration dice, which you can use at any point. Oh. Good boy, well done. Thank you. <laughs> the lizard looks at this says something which you do not understand at all. Points back towards down the corridor. All right, yeah. Can you draw us a map? Starts oh. shuffling its feet to down the corridor a bit. Oh, we we're following him quickly. <laughs> yeah? Do you let him yeah. lead? No. No, we should tie up his claws and I'll keep my spear at his back. And okay. Make sure there isn't a bell on his or her person. Oh, good thinking. You find a bell on his person. <laughs> no dingy lingy. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't understand books or red hall, but he understands dingy linging. Well, he just says. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he understands. <laughs> it's my dingy ling. My dingy ling. <laughs> this is actually happening, by the way, because your character is drunk. A little bit, yes. <laughs> as you go up the corridor again it goes past you Hector and then gets to the room above and turns right so where Hector and Noma were going it tries to go in that direction Okay. you enter a room with six marble desks and Ooh. again this is bureaucratic there are out trays on top you recognise this sort of, there's a definitely process, a system going on here there's also above a chandelier 
which provides dazzling light onto the floor. There's a huge map of the Red Hall here in this central table. So this table is underneath the chandelier, dappled light all over it. What do you all look at then? Do you just ask him to point to it. Okay, it points to this map and as its hands are tied, it just sort of nudges, nods towards where it wants you to look. At this point, you can see this map. Hold on, I'm going to show it to you. Can you all see that? Yes. Yes. Yep. But we can't read it. But can you see the symbols? Ah. Yes. Oh, you can look at the oh, symbols. Little envelope. In the middle. Mm. Is it all three symbols or just that one? And that combination of symbols is right in the middle of the map. Dead oh, center. it is just there? Yes. Right in the middle. Okay, right underneath that one little shady rock thing. Mm. Right, yeah. It, yeah. it looks a bit like a sort of Guinness heart. It does, that's right. Yeah. Right? Anyway. Well done, Dan. Done. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, I don't see that. Uh, how far away? Oh, we're, we're quite far away from it. We're on the left-hand side. We're in, we're in configuration, aren't we? Yeah. Whoever oh. told us to go to the configuration was uh, having us on. <laughs> how long have we had this map for? No, this is the better version with symbols on. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> well, that helps. Okay. Oh, well, very good then. John? Can we take a photo of it? And... You can put it to memory. But... My kind of Rosetta Stone diary book. Does it have any of the symbols translated which appear on here? Oh, we're on an intelligence check, Dan. You'll get well, some things, naturally. The better it is, the more you'll find out. Hey, well done, Dan. Not bad, is it? Mm. Yes, yeah, so you have the feast room. I mean, Congress seems to be a much more lavish area. You have feast room, you have the recreation room. You think, it's, you think it, it sort of translates to recreation. It, it kind of means rub and, oh. and eat. But recreation, you get the feeling. Up here you have, there seems to be some sort of warning sign at the sacred entrance to the Man Semiwanya. It's a definite warning sign and you know, no entrance. In configuration, you get bored looking through things. They're very boring words, essentially, you discover here. This is very much a process area here. There are a few small scribbles which you see by the library you also find bedrooms which you think it's one of the pods you were down you were in there were a number of bedrooms in there but yeah there are some small print symbols by the library uh you couldn't find them though in this book okay cool well we know more does anyone fancy exploring any of the pods or rooms we've identified how much time we got left because we only had seven hours to begin with how much time has elapsed uh, do you have any sort of time clock device? I've got a sundial. <laughs> We're underground. <laughs> <laughs> it's quarter past four. Uh, I, I think uh, perception checks. If someone gets to it past a certain DC, I will give you the time. Otherwise, it's a vague feeling. No, pretty good. 18. There we go. Nine. You're not so sure, Oryx. <laughs> no, no. Um, you're a woodland folk, um, Nomo. This underground stuff really fries your mind a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Hector, you'd think you'd be at home underground, but apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, after some adjustment, you're not so bad, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Lice, you estimate that three hours have lapsed since you went down here. Now, don't forget, this is a seven-hour mission. Yes. Yeah, my, uh, my stomach you. seems to think that we've got four hours left. Do you mean your guts? Or do you... Yes. <laughs> That's when I'll be hungry next. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're hungry in convenient seven-hour cycles, are you? That's right, yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, we, we probably have time to nip somewhere similar at least, don't we? But um, I'm not sure any of those areas particularly caught my interest other than the Red Hall. We don't really need to get the book for the lizard guy. We can just run away. True. I'm not really worried about the Errol Finn outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go straight to the library. Library first. Straight, straight to the library. You come back into this room and uh, there's a hopeful looking Kieran saying, are we ready now? Are we, are we, are we, are we going up? Are we, are we getting out of here? 
soon. Okay, okay. Is there anything else you want to do? You've got a couple of lizards here. We should probably do something with them. Yeah, we should tie them up and gag them. All right. I'll help with that. Okay, so you do that. You spend a little bit of time just making sure that they're secure. So why, why show the... favoritism against lizards over trolls? <laughs> Ooh. Well, tro- I hate trolls. Hate them. <laughs> <laughs> Especially their babies. <laughs> Okay, so to the library then. Yeah. Okay. Your stomach lice tells you it takes about half an hour to get to this area as you wander back through. It's a bit quicker, in fact, on the way back. You know, you're approximately where you're going. But then Does his stomach have an accent? Have an accent. Uh, Rob, can you give a feel for how the stomach sounds? Sounds like a grizzly bear. <laughs> <laughs> That's how a stomach would sound, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything, anything in here worth pinching? Well, I'm sure Hector would be all over it, wouldn't he? Oh, in these rooms? Yes. By all means, have a look. A quick look, mind. How about some investigations? Worshipping Pedal by J.R. Hartley. (laughs) (laughs) I find nothing. I'm going to have another swig. (laughs) (laughs) All right. For the investigations, then... Yeah, Hector Oryx, you find... It appears to be someone's personal belongings, Oryx, so you find some jewels in one of the drawers, which you think will be worth something. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> to go with the sound effects, you find some sort of horse ornament, Hector. You're calling Emma a horse? No, I'm, 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 I'm saying she's making, <laughs> making a whinny sound. She was. All right. Yeah, what's happening about like that? Yes. <laughs> horse ornament. Yes, uh, you think that it, this is... It's not an exact interpretation. You don't, you don't think that lizards necessarily know many horses, but it's it's an artistic interpretation. I, I don't think it's a magic horse ornament that becomes a horse for a rabbit or something. You're not sure. Mm. You can investigate or rub it. Up to you. Or... I give it a rub. Okay, you rub that horse. <laughs> <laughs> My goat versus your horse. <laughs> All right. Um, roll the d6. There's a genie in a horse. <laughs> This is how many horses it turns into. <laughs> could be, could be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the, um, you can see there's some lizard scroll. It seems to have been personalised in some way. Very delicate, beautiful lizard scrolling. But nothing happens when you rub it. Damn it. <laughs> I'll pocket it anyway. Okay, okay. I'll All rub right. it again later when I'm alone. Okay, so you <laughs> journey off, and this time goes by with... The occasional growl from the stomach of, <laughs> of lice. Oh, that's three hours left. <laughs> and you work out which is the pod which is meant to hold the library. And you get in there. And around this circular room, there's a lot of plants, a lot of natural leaf growing, which is impressive this far down. But there appears to be wouldn't, some sort of wouldn't glow. Wouldn't it be funny if the lizard for the library was... Um, greenhouse or something. <laughs> yeah. This is quite a small chamber. There's a room behind it, but this chamber itself, there's all this greenery and branches wrapped around the outside of this domed wall. And in the centre, there is a vase or a vase, which is on a plinth. It's not similar to the greenhouse that Oryx was stuck in, was it? <laughs> Oh, that was more pyramidical. Oh, goodness. No, it's not like that. There's no mural. I was wondering if it's like in Harry Potter, you can step into one greenhouse and then teleport into another greenhouse. I love it, but... Um... I should just go off the drugs, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. These, <laughs> these are your musings as, as you wander around with this bottle in your hand. <laughs> so there, there you are. It's a shiny black vase, probably about two and a half feet tall. Pretty big. On this plate. It's one fit in pocket. So there's a white plinth. Oh, I'll say, there... don't, don't touch that. I don't like the look of that. Um, I go up to it and, and touch it. <laughs> where, where do you touch it? Um, I, I stroke the side of it in a central manner. The side of it. So you just quite casually just walk up to it and start stroking it? Yes. It works on I the horse? I, I, start, I don't stroke it repeatedly. I, don't, I just kind of touch it. And see what it feels like. <laughs> okay. I back away, shaking my head. Okay. In, 
Do you say, I like black, as you stroke it? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Shall I roll or do you want to roll? It's a 1d100. Um, 1d100? Yeah. Ooh. Jesus. <laughs> I think it would be quicker if you did it. Okay. <laughs> so, you wander up to it, oh. maybe thinking of the horse, thinking this has got to work sometime. <laughs> <laughs> and then, from the wall to your right, you hear this shh, and I think roll the deck safe. That's the damage you took, is it? 25? <laughs> 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 so this is a deck saving throw okay Ooh. you sense that something's just gone badly wrong as this sound comes from the side of you <clears throat> so take half of this got oh, a d100 geez. to wait on <laughs> oh Jesus. okay a blade comes out from the wall slices you and then just disappears doesn't even go into the wall just disappears Doing six damage to you. That's fine. Cutting that's into fine. your side. I'll just cast my temporary hit points again in a minute. <laughs> Screw you, trap. <laughs> okay. So I had a premonition of your death today. <laughs> um, I'm still having it. Your joyful dray dreaming of no, of no interest to me. Careful of this vase, by the way. <laughs> and, and, and you can see where you stroked your finger down the vase. You know, the area where there's no dust. So no, very no, no, no one's ever too scared to clean it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We've got three cleaning ladies this week. <laughs> what else is in this right, room? Right, where are all these books then? Otherwise in this room, uh, apart from a door at the back, tiled floor, there's a glow at the top when the light's coming through. Otherwise the walls are surrounded by green leaves and branches. They cover the wall. Everyone put up your hood, so we're a little bit disguised at least. Um, then I shall go forward and stealthily explore a little further. Um, I'll, I'll leave my pusher behind this time. Good, yes, good yeah, idea. Just in I'll... case there's any suits of armour around. <laughs> I'll follow then. Where are you going? You're going into the next room? Yes. Sneakily. Uh... Okay. Well, are the leaves hopefully alone? I'm following Hector <laughs> also sneakily. So in fact, perhaps so sneakily he won't notice. Like it, like it. Both are other stealth check then. Oh, no. No. <laughs> uh, you don't so much as open the door as you trip on one of the uh, stone cobbles going up to it and just thump into the door. I turn around and glare at Pavel. <laughs> 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 I'm surprised Hector can stealthily walk with all his guts hanging out. Did I not tell you I was going to go alone? Why did you trip me up like that? Shh. <laughs> okay. So, you open the door now? Or? I cough down. Right. <laughs> Let's have a roll then. <laughs> cough roll. Um, uh, so what should I do? Just an attack or, or what? Yeah, it's an unarmed attack. It's just an attack. We'll do it. I'm not going to try to hurt him, just a light cuff. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. It wasn't a damaging cuff. It was just a kind of light cuff. It was perfect. <laughs> you did minimum damage with this perfect technique. Oh. D -d Describe him exactly how you cuffed Dan to perfection. <laughs> Are you wearing a hat or anything, Dan? I just put up a hood that you told me to put up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I kind of cut your chin, making your head fly back and your hood fall off. And I, I followed up with a double cheek slap. <laughs> <laughs> On the bottom. <laughs> okay. Don't do that again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cuffed me three times. <laughs> <laughs> I hold my hand up as though to do him again in a kind of threatening way. <laughs> <laughs> How come he can do that? But he can't open a door. <laughs> 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 oh.
<laughs> okay, I, I, I go shh. <laughs> I, I make a shushing sound to Dan and then I, I open the door. Stealthily. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's great. You open the door. So on the second attempt, you open the door. You see in front of you a long room. There are pipes all over the place. There are balls in jars and chaise longue, lots of nice, long, lounging platforms. There's quite a smell, quite a rich spice smell going on in this room. Oh, yes, there's a rotating track as well. <laughs> but is it in operation is the question. It's absolutely quiet in here. You can see the crank where this thing would go. It's, imagine this kind of train track effect going around this room just above your head and then back down again. And there's a few bits of items. There are some crumbs still lying around, but it's empty. This vast room, it's a little bit eerie when it's empty. But you get the impression that a lot of lizards spend good time here. I might just do a little silent fart just to break the silence. It's heard exquisitely by everyone. Beautiful, beautiful. There's a room to the far side as well, but otherwise lots and lots of pipes. Axio book. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to survive Lysa's fart. <laughs> mm, mm. Yeah, it takes you a moment, but you regain your composure. All right. Yeah, two hours left. <laughs> <laughs> so you think, yeah, this is definitely the right pod. Horse pebbles Rosetta Stone say? I'll have a roll, shall I? Yeah. See if I can figure out any of the words for hero death was the other one, or binded chemistry. If we can separate <laughs> fiction from non-fiction. <laughs> yeah, yeah, even that, I suppose. Sure, sure, right. yeah, do it. Yeah, give me a roll. The things you find here, you find one or two items which translate into common, not in a single word, but a string of words like worms with bullywug droppings, balls of lizard fat mixed with sugar. These are the things which have been translated. You find the word feast carved into a wall in big letters. You think you even see some of these balls that they mention. The other ones you think is a long thing. You imagine raisins in muesli. That's how they look. But just like long sausages. Oh, now you're making me hungry, John. <laughs> <laughs> An extra rumble from your stomach. <laughs> yes. Which means the time was almost up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know what to do with that information. What do we do now? I thought this was the library. Me too. Did we misremember what the symbol's for? No, no. Um, it definitely said library on the pod. You think back to what it said. There was library. Above that, it said feast. Looking around, you've now worked that out. And then it said warm. Warm? So, yeah. Three words that spring out at you from this pod. Could this be the section of the library dedicated to feasting? Or warmth? Or both? Doesn't this seem like a library? By the smells and the number of chaise longues, you think this is a big feeding station. Okay, all right. It's the library feeding station. Try one of the other pods. <laughs> Very good, then. Yeah. Would there be a feeding station in a library? If you want to become, you know, a higher education or university student, you'll perfectly well understand. Yeah. <laughs> All right. With the room with the vase, that's where some of us are still standing. Okay. The, the leaves on, on the wall, are they painted on? Are they just decoration? They appear to be real. Possibly from the faint glow from above you at the top of the dome, it seems to somehow feed them, give them a sort of a natural light. I mean, you're not sure if they're completely real or not? I'll examine some closely. Sure, sure. Um, you do a check which you feel is... This type of check you want to do for that. They feel quite normal. Um, only you, being a woodland elf, you think that there's something not quite right about them. Otherwise, you know, I think to the average eye, they'd be normal. There's no, like, writing on them? If, if you lift them up, look underneath them, is there anything? No, there's no writing on the leaves. Can I use my detect magic? Sure. By most standards, it actually reminds you of one of the two of the dorms that you lived in when you were at college, at Wizarding College. It's got that sort of feel to it. There is a lot here, and some of it's quite old magic. 
Yeah, there's a little bit of nostalgia for you here, Oryx. So definitely the vase has got a lot, but there's almost a magical invisible web linking the wall, the ceiling, the floor to this vase. Oh, I will go to the strongest source of magic that there is in the room and look at it, like examine it. Okay. Uh, Apart from the vase, you mean? There are more strands of this arcana web to the west wall, so the opposite side from where the blade came from, essentially. You feel like there's an area here. Okay, I'll check that out. Sure thing. Investigation check or arcana check? Uh, I'll use arcana because... Yeah, it's your thing. (laughs) I'm better with that. You think think you're better than that. That's a... Uh, can I do investigation now? <laughs> um, you can, but you're blinking. You, you can't get the web out of your mouth. Mu- it's like when you look at a window for too long and all you can see is the brightness of that window. So, it, disadvantage on this. Okay. Okay. There's nothing that appears to be behind the leaves. There's a lot of branches here. There aren't any markings out of the ordinary here. Okay. Yeah, you know that there are links using your spell, but you cannot see anything here, which makes you think this is how you use it. Can I check out the vase? Sure thing. Just by passive perception, you can see that this is a dusty vase. There's a plinth which goes up to, I guess, three feet, and then the vase does two and a half feet. So, you know, it's it's pretty much the size of a normal human being. It does not have any handles. It's just, it's a very smooth vase but very dusty. Uh, yeah. What magical properties does it have? Okay. So FYI, uh, Tech Magic just tells you there is magic or there is not. It doesn't give you any special divining powers in general. Okay, well... Yeah, but I have. I can just check with my arcana. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, that's as far as you got. I mean, because it's such a strong magical aura here that it's glowing quite a bit. Sort of so confusing. It's very confusing, the amount of power or arcana there is in this room. Okay, let's get back in there and look. I'm going to search very hard for ways through. Let's all make a search, shall we? I'm searching and I find nothing. I'll have another drink. (laughs) I I get my horse out and start kind of holding it near things. Okay. (laughs) Have have a drink. Playing with your little horse figurine. (laughs) 14, okay. Pevel, where are you looking? And where are you shoving your horse there, um, Hector? Where aren't I shoveling it, GM? Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm shoveling it near Oryx. Good shovel in his direction. <laughs> <laughs> it makes that noise when you, when, you, when you put it near Oryx. I do a little dance as well. <laughs> so it appears to have oral... Oral ability of some sort. Yes. Oh. Easy bit. You're not <laughs> sure why Oryx brings this up, but it seems have to. Have I revealed anything um, else apart from the local ability of the horse? It just it's appears... lame. It needs to be put down. <laughs> it appears to just be vocal, as far as you can tell. Um, I hold it. I, I just I go around the room slowly, holding the horse in the direction, waiting for an indication. It's not a dividing stick. I'm going to find water with it. <laughs> Okay, near the vase, it also emits a wah sound. <laughs> okay, I, I move closer to the vase. Okay, Pevel, are you investigating the room or what were you investigating there? I don't know, what is there again? There's the, um, the chandelier, the tables. There's the light orb at the top, around the, the sides, well obviously there's the door, but the, you've got the plants and the branches, you've got the vase and the plinth. And otherwise, it's tiled floor. Um, Aren't there bookshelves? No. <laughs> What's a plinth? A plinth is something which is, oh, it's like a dais. Imagine like a very small column, decorated column, and on top of it is a vase. Okay. I go up to the vase, I get very low down, and I'm braced for things shooting out of me, and I tap it with a horse. On the vase? Yeah. Okay. You tap the vase. Should I roll it this time? Or do you want to roll it? What, the D100? Yes. Uh, you can roll it. Okay. So, giving a, a wah sound, 
you tap the horse against the vase and the ceiling appears to just fall at a dramatic rate. Six seconds. What do you all do? <laughs> the door. I'll dive to the side. I, I run. Yeah, run for the door. Okay. Um, who said that first? Oh, was, it, was it Was it Nomo anything. who said that first? Said what first? Was that Canadian? No. <laughs> who, who said you go for the door first? Was that you, Rob? Yeah. Okay. I, I think I said it. I, th I thought. Oh, did you? Did you? We'll do a rock, paper, scissors, Terry. Ready? Scissors. Right. That works really well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a game that does not work just with audio. No. Yeah. Okay, th th those who went for the door, you can roll a deck save. Right. It's a deck save of 15. Right. Good save. No, oh, 16. The door. Yeah, 16, yes. Followed closely in, in a conga line by you, Lice. Everyone else... Oh yes, Hector did try and failed. So I did try. Did you try? You didn't say yeah. you tried, so it didn't happen. In oh. in that time, your character didn't think, "Oh yeah, the door." Can I hold a book over my head or something? <laughs> I don't <feel> that. <laughs> sure. And you can have minus one from whatever I roll now. There we go. So the ceiling came down. Yeah, it appeared to just collapse on top of you. As you two both look back into the room, the room looks completely normal again. But there are a number of people on the floor. So it, it did 15 damage to you, Oryx. Oh. <laughs> okay. Dad, how much health do I have left? Two. Wow. Yay. Is it 15 damage to each of us, John? A 16 to everyone else. That book spared you that hit point. Seriously? Yeah. Well, I'm, on, uh, I'm on minus one. Or you just go down to Norton, please stay safe. Yeah, yeah. Icky and Pebble just drop. Oh, crap. Can we... So we're out of the... Uh, those of us that made the save, we see that the roof didn't really fall? Yeah, it, it appears perfectly normal again. It's an illusion. I'll go back in and try to stabilize somebody. Bloody and hell, I'll... yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll look at the bottle and throw it away. Smash. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Two look rather winded. Uh, Hector is fine. Oryx is fine, but they've taken a lot of damage. Yeah, I'll heal those who are, you know, who I can. So. You have a potion yeah, as well, don't minus forget. Minus one? Yeah, because you had a book over your head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Again, it's still... Help me a bit. Oh. It's, it's still within that 10-minute period, and, and still, Oryx, you can feel that glow of, around you. This is quite a so what, what, what did you touch to make the ceiling fall down? He touched his horse to the vase. Oh. Yeah, well, why don't you try touching it again, Hector? <laughs> <laughs> Someone needs to stabilize Rob then. Oh, no, I dived out of the way. Oh. I died in the corridor. Yeah. yeah, Rob and Nomo got out in time. Presumably you've healed now, healed Pebble and... Yes, yes, I've, uh, if they can just roll the 1d8 plus 7. Okay. Is that for everyone? Yes. Lovely. Guys, I'm going to have to go... No, that's fine. So you're in this room. Have a think on what you need to do. Well, thanks, guys. That was fun. It was. Thank yeah, you. likewise. You know, let me sneak alone, and I'm um, sorry about the ceiling. <laughs> I'm going to remember this, uh, most of all. The ceiling, but more than that, the triple snap. <laughs> that was, that was, yeah. That was amazing. Clinical. What a slap. Yes. It's very Zorro-esque. <laughs> <laughs> Hector's by this man. Yeah. <laughs>